Well, well, well. Let us see what is the next best thing that Blender has to offer us. With that being said and done, let me show you. Go to File, go to New, and we will come to Sculpting. And here we got a quad sphere, and then I will expand this toolbar so that I could get names of the brushes. And here you will get an icon named Active Tool. If you click over it, it is going to show us parameters related to this brush. Radius. Radius we have covered in the last video. Strength, strength is here as well. You we have covered this in the last uh, video. And you can also right click and get access to strength and uh, radius from here itself. And uh, then we have got add and subtract. We have got add and subtract. We have got hardness. If I click over here and drag, this is without any hardness. And if I increase the hardness. This is something that will happen over here. It's a very harsh brush. Then auto smooth. If I bring down the hardness a little bit down, this is with 0.2 hardness. And if you want auto smooth with each stroke, with each stroke, then you can use auto smooth. This will be utilizing the brush accordingly. You see, this is with hardness. 0.2 and uh, zero auto smooth and this is with a lot of auto smooth so this is what these buttons do and uh, it's the same in almost all the other brushes whatever is changing is changing in the bottom part if i change over here keep your attention over here i will be changing the brushes over here this one this one this one you are getting plane trim you are getting plane offset you are getting height you are getting auto smooth the same thing magnifying is something new and pinch is something new so i will go to draw and i will show you one more small button this is for pen tablet for those who don't know pen tablet is a device with the help of which which you can draw over here and your mouse will be drawing on the screen and the great thing about this uh, device is that if you press more on the device the pen pressure can be changed means the strength is ticked on so the strength will be changed when you press it hardly and if I tick over here it will change the radius of the brush if I push hardly on the pen tab if I push hardly on the pen tab the size of the brush will be changed so i don't want the brush size to be changed so i am taking this off and uh, radius unit view uh, in pixels the view whatever our uh, device is it is measured in pixels but if you want you can do it in metric system as well in meters now it is 0 0.35 meters now it is 50 pixels uh, the next button is over here and here this is one of the most wonderful thing that uh, that uh, blender developers have provided us with now if i type here 150 and then go to another brush the radius is same over here if i take even crease brush the radius is same over here if i take this off and come over here and i have given 150 i will now give 50 to the crease brush and the draw brush 175 so the draw brush is at 175 and the crease brush is at 50 pixel so if we take this off the brush size will be changed accordingly the way the type of brushes you select and if i click over here and type over here 50 so all the brushes will be of same sizes same radius so that's one thing now the next thing i want to bring your notice is this hardness uh, sorry this plane offset if i now click and drag this is how the brush is acting and if i have plane offset to full it will be more clearly visible in clay strips uh, this is with zero plane offset 
this is how the brush will act at one at one moment uh, it is not adding to anything more but if i give plain offset to this brush and now if i click and drag over this brush it is going to give it a more thickness it is going to protrude it more outside of the geometry with the help of plane offset so let me come over here and tap zero plane trim if i come over here and click over here and uh, switch it off and click and drag over here you see the edges of these brushes these are somewhat smoothed out if i show over here there are little bit smoothed out but if i come over here and increase the plane trim to 1 meter and then click and drag let me click and drag over here the brush is a little bit hard as you can see over here the brush is a little bit hard with the help of plain trim i don't want this so i am switching it off tip roundness with tip roundness to the default value this is how the tip will be visible now if i increase this tip roundness and click and drag over here the tips of the brushes are rounding off so this is for that purpose and if uh, we reduce this to zero no tip roundness will be visible it will be flat so that is for clay strip clay thumb plane offset and plane trim how much do you want to bring out the uh, mesh and uh, how sharp you want the brush edges to be that is defined by plane trim layer layer has a new parameter called height so if i come over here and show you the brush on the brush there are two circles if you are if you can see it clearly if you notice on the brush there are two circles one is a thick circle one is a thin circle the thick circle defines where the brush is going to be painting on and the thin brush is going to define the height of that stroke now if i click and drag over here this is the height of the stroke this is the height of the stroke now what we can do is we can change the height of this stroke and then now if you see the distance between thick circle and thin circle is more and now if i click and drag over here it is going to define the height of that stroke and what you can actually do is you can also go and type over here so that you get even more heighted brush this will be very useful in creating ridges and valleys in your sculpting uh, process here there is one more parameter called persistent over here in the layer brush in the layer brush we have persistent over here and if we without using persistent initially if i click and drag over here this is going to create a stroke like this here there is overlapping of stroke that is taking place now if i come over here and click on persistent and set persistent base and now if i click and drag over here and now if i click and drag over here the overlapping of stroke will not take place wow that's a wonderful thing that blender developers have provided us with we have our stroke this way so that is one thing in inflate there is nothing more blob magnify magnify is the option if we click and drag over here this is what default value does and if i increase this value and click and drag over here the magnifying part is taking place very fastly so if you see it from here this is with 
default magnifying value and this is with full magnify value so i will reset it back to default crease brush crease brush helps us in creating sharp edges like uh, if i click and press over here a crease is being created over here so that is called crease so with the help of pinch we can increase or decrease the amount of crease if i click and drag over here this is at the default value if i increase this value parameter and now if i click and drag the pinch is going to take place more harshly more even more so that's it for this guys if you like this videos hit the like button hit the share button i hope you have already subscribed it and if you want you can leave a wonderful comment and if you want you can wholeheartedly financially support me on google pay phone pay paytm uh, the phone number is 8600647757 or you can support me on patreon page links will be given in the description as well and with that being said and then try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video